Welcome to the last Friday before Thanksgiving break. I'm Jocelyn Daniel. And I'm Sophia Ahmed. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pace Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We at Page pledge to treat everyone with fairness, kindness, and respect. Are you excited about break? Yes, Thanksgiving means food, family, and football. Let's send it over to our football experts with Pace College Game Day, followed by Sports Wraparound. Hello, Pirates. I'm Jake Allison. And I'm Kyle Dixon. Welcome to the best weekend in college football rivalry week. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's get this rumble in the jungle started with Notre Dame against USC. Notre Dame looks to secure their spot in college football playoff this weekend against USC, who is looking to spoil their chances. The key player for Notre Dame is defense event junior Khalid Khalid Kareem. USC's X Factor is left tackle Austin Jackson. In the second contest, it's the LSU Tigers will travel to Cal Field to face the Texas A&M Aggies. The impact players for Texas A&M is running back Travion Williams, and LSU's impact player is running back Nick Porcet. In the third game, Syracuse will travel to Massachusetts to play Boston College. Syracuse playmaker is quarterback Eric Dungy, while Boston College's impact player is running back A.J. Dillon. In the fourth game, we have the greatest college football rivalry, Michigan at Ohio State. This is a game that has marquee players and it has marquee head coaches, Jim Harbaugh from Michigan and Urban Meyer for the Ohio State. We all know that Michigan has phenomenal defense with their key player, defense alignment Chase Winbush, who has 10 tackles for a loss. The fifth matchup is the one I four between USCF and USF. USF leads the series 6-3. Quarterback Mackenzie Milton leads the high-powered Knights, while USF quarterback Blake Barnett leads the Bulls. Now it's the main event. Yeah! It's the Gators traveling yeah! to Tallahassee to take on the Knowles. FSU has won the past five matchup in the series. In order for the Knowles to keep their winning streak going, quarterback DeAndre Francois will need to play smart and avoid turnovers. Florida's quarterback Felipe Franks will be the X factor in this game for the Gators. Now let's bring in our guest picker, Mr. Starcher and Nurse Mahoney. Thank you for being here, Coach. Hey, glad to be here again. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Game one is the Notre Dame Fighting Irish at USC. I think Notre Dame's going to win this. I agree with Jake. I think Notre Dame as well. Go Irish. I'd love to pick the upset. Notre Dame just looks too good this year. All right. I'm going for Notre Dame. All right. Game two is the LSU Tigers versus Texas A&M. I like Texas A&M in an upset. I'm going with Texas A&M. Right. I'm going to surprise everybody. LSU with that defense is going to win. They're going to take down Jimbo. Texas A&M. Game three is Syracuse versus Boston College. I like Boston College. I'm going to go with Syracuse. Yep. I'm going with the Orange. Big offense game. Going with the Orange. Game four is the Ohio State Buckeyes versus Michigan Wolverines. I like the Ohio State. I'm going to go with Ohio State too. Ooh, picking Urban Meyer. Ungator like of you. Hypocrite. Go Big Blue. Let's go, Michigan. Yeah. Right. I love the Wolverines, so I'm going for Michigan. Good choice, good choice. Game five is the UCF Knights versus the USF Bulls. I like the Knights. Yeah. Go Bulls. Oh, no, 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 no. 
This Elbow. one's Night Nation, yeah. baby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Knights. Knights. All right. Go ahead, man. All right. And it's the main event. Florida State versus Florida. Yeah. I like Florida. All right, go Felipe Franks. Go UF. Go Gators. It's been a rough year for the Knowles, but nothing will make it that much better than beating the Gators for a sixth straight time. Go Knowles! Go Knowles! Go Gators. Thanks for watching. Have a nice week. Woo! Go Seminoles! Skipping a week ahead, rivalry week starts with the war on I-4 when UCF plays against USF. The player to watch over the break is junior Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray who has 3,038 passing yards with 32 touchdowns to 5 interceptions and has 640 rushing yards with 7 touchdowns and is a Heisman Trophy candidate player. Oklahoma against West Virginia at 8 p.m. in Morgantown, West Virginia. Washington against Washington State at 8.30 in Pullman, Washington. Florida against Florida State in Tallahassee, Florida. Georgia against Georgia Tech at 12 p.m. in Athens, Georgia. Michigan against Ohio State in Columbus, Ohio. Auburn against Alabama in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Pittsburgh against Miami in Miami, Florida. And Boston College against Syracuse in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. On Thanksgiving Day, the Chicago Bears play against the Detroit Lions at 12.30 p.m. in Detroit, Michigan. The player to watch is Washington Redskins running back Adrian Peterson, who is currently in his 11th season. He went to college at Oklahoma, where he set the freshman rushing record with 1,925 yards, which led to him being drafted 7th overall in 2007. And in 2012, he was both the NFL MVP and Offensive Player of the Year, and so far has 672 rushing yards with four touchdowns on 155 carries and has a receiving touchdown as well. The Washington Redskins against the Dallas Cowboys at 4.30 p.m. in Arlington, Texas. And the New Orleans Saints against the Atlanta Falcons at 8.20 p.m. in New Orleans, Louisiana. Next up is the adulting skills by Sophia. Welcome to my second segment called Adult Skills with Sophia. In today's episode, the topic will be about electricity and, e and energy and which apps are best for that. My first app is called Energy Cost Calculator. This app calculates and operates the cost and the energy usage. This app also helps with the calculation of the cost per week, per month, and per year. The second app is Appliance Energy Calculator. This app helps assist consumers for estimating the running costs of different app appliances. The last app that I will be talking about is Was Electricity Bill Estimator. This app helps you quickly estimate the electricity usage in any house in the US. It also helps renters or homeowners eliminate big surprises. Hope you enjoyed my second episode about energy and electricity. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Now it's time for the White Dove Award winners, quote of the day and birthdays. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Arthur Ashe
Happy almost birthday, Sophia. I hope you have a great day on Monday. Thanks, and I hope you all have a safe and happy break. Agreed. Oh, and congratulations to the middle school team on winning the Students vs. Faculty Trivia Game on Wednesday. Once again, the students have the trophy. Bye! Bye.